Hey guys, Jared here, and today I'm going to unbox and just do a little demo of my new 18 gauge brad nailer from Milwaukee. This is a Gen 2, and while it's not a you know it's not a new tool by any means, and I'm sure there's probably a ton of other videos out there on this, it is new to me. So that makes me excited and makes me want to do a video. So that's why you're seeing it. I also have here beside me my air powered. 18 gauge brad nailer made by Craftsman. I've had this for quite a while and its capacity is 3 8 to inch and 3 8 And one thing that really surprised me when I was looking at the Milwaukee Is this thing will shoot up to two and an eighth inch 18 gauge brad nails to me that that's awesome this uh this may end up replacing my 16 gauge nailer. We'll see. I use the 16 gauge occasionally with some trim and whatnot, but but I hate that it's that it is larger. But the biggest reason I used that was because I could fit longer nails in that gun. Well, if I can now fit nice long, you know, two, two and an eighth inch nails in this gun, this may be my go-to, and I may not need the larger gun. But uh Let's open it, throw a battery in it. We will shoot a few nails into some wood, see what I can find, and, uh, and check it out. Right off the bat, uh, I mean, this gun is is not terribly light. It's not obnoxiously heavy, but it is, it's definitely not gonna be as light as an air powered and it's not as small, but you also have to fight an air hose, whether that be you're, you're constantly tugging or the fact that you just have to take an air compressor with you somewhere. If you're doing trim in a house or whatever, uh, out here, I hate it because I'm always dragging around an air hose while I'm making my little cabinets or whatever while I'm, you know, I throw a little brad nail in them while the glue is drying. Now I won't have to fight that. So, yeah, this is a little heavier, but uh, but honestly, I, I really don't care. I think I'll really like it. So I have here just a little uh, 2 amp hour CP throw in there and unlike every other type of Milwaukee tool impact drill or whatever doesn't do you any good doesn't do any good just pull the trigger you have to turn it on first which is down below the you know kind of in front of the handle which is nice it's out of the way you're not going to bump it and there's also a mode here that toggles between single fire and bump fire. So bump fire meaning hold the trigger, bang, 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 done, or requiring a trigger pull for every touch. Push and hold, it's on, single nail. Okay, so we're gonna turn this off. Uh, let me grab some nails, couple boards, and let's just try it. So just show you to open, this is pretty simple. Just push on that little thumb, drop it open. So we grab some safety glasses and give this guy a shot. So turn the power on. Okay, so right now I notice uh, right away when I push this, I am pretty far from the board. Let's go ahead and fire it anyway, see what happens. All right, nail sticking up. Depth adjustment. Oh look, there's extra tips too, different tips.
depth adjustment has a nice click feature. Closer. Flush. Just below flush. Really consistent. Go a little deeper. Now let's try bump fire. Pretty much as fast as I could go, it sank them. Unfortunately, I don't have a, uh, a nice thick piece of oak, I don't think. All right, so here I have a, uh, a thick piece of oak that was a runner on a pallet. And it's uh, very, very hard and dry. So it's leaving them just slightly above. So I'm gonna adjust the depth a little bit. I went the wrong way. Now, I had somebody tell me that uh, they didn't have the best of luck using the CP2s, that the 3.0s, since they were high output, they actually worked better. So we'll just throw something bigger on there. Now, I'm not going to obviously want to use a uh, 6 amp hour and carry this honking thing around all day, but uh, I don't have any 3.0s yet, so we're just going to give it a shot with a little bit higher output battery. Oh yeah, yeah, turn it on. Right, I'm gonna sink, take it all the way. Let's see what it does. With the depth adjustment set all the way, it, I mean, it definitely sinks them below in that hard bulwark. Super deep with the adjustment set for oak if I'm trying to shoot into pine. Depth adjustment dial is actually turning this little screw, which is setting how far back that will go. All right, guys, so there you go. Uh, real quick, short, simple little unboxing and demo video of the of my new Milwaukee Fuel 18 volt M18. 18 gauge brad nailer uh, I think it's going to be super handy. I'm really looking forward to using it to build me some more uh, tool cabinets and Keep from having to drag around the air hose for the air nailer but I think I'm going to need to eventually get me some CP 3.0 batteries for it that way I have a nice little compact battery uh, for now, I use my 2.0. I'm not making anything out of oak, so I don't really see the need for the extra power. But I did notice that my 6 amp hour high output battery did appear to dry the nails into the oak better than the CP 2.0. Because it's not a high output compared to the 3.0s are high output. Uh, thanks, guys. Sorry for rambling. Please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified of upcoming videos and 
leave me some feedback. Uh, do you have this nailer? Do you have a different brand? What do you like? And if you have this and the 15 gauge, I would like to hear some firsthand experience as to whether or not you feel it is necessary to also have that bigger gun. I am going to buy the uh, quarter inch crown stapler to supplement this. So I'll have a stapler at the same time. But right now, as I said, I'm, I'm still kind of on defense as to whether or not I want the 15 gauge nailer as well. So I'd love to hear some input and you guys let me know if you think it's worth grabbing that as well. But thanks everybody. Have a great rest of your day.